What do big kids want? More shots! More tricks! More height! More food! Big kids want to be treated like big kids. So you can come to Burger King and get a Burger King Big Kids meal served your way with more great tasting food, fun, and of course, a cool toy. You've got the toys, you've got the cards. Now you can come in and trade them. On Tuesday night, you can come to Burger King and trade your toys and cards with other kids. Pokemon Trading Night, only at Burger King. Taste rules. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu. We're in Celdon City, but more importantly, it's been a long time and I've taken a Pokemon for a stroll for a very, very long time. So we're gonna see just how strong he's gotten. In fact, I took him out uh, onto a lake. We quadded on said lake. I nearly fell into the water on the frozen lake. It was kind of scary, but you know what? It's fine, because then this dude's gonna get big and strong. We threw ourselves a little Rhyhorn in here. He's already level 21. He's getting 47,000 experience points, almost 48,000, which means this boy is gonna be very strong, I bet. This... This, this boy is gonna probably be, okay, only 36, not our strongest just yet, and I don't even know if he's gonna technically evolve by this point. I am not 100%, there's, there's, oh, Drill Run, that's a cool move. That's a cool new move, I like that one a lot. Yeah, we're gonna give that to him. Uh, there's a lot of, um, Pokemon who I don't remember their exact details about when they level up, mostly because there's so many. I can barely remember all their names at times. There's some Gen 4 and Gen 5 Pokemon that I look at and I'm like, I legitimately can't remember your name. They're types I can usually remember. I say usually because, I mean, you saw me with the, um, the Rai uh, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the Nidorans and thinking about their types. Yeah, we're gonna give you a takedown because that is, that is a stronger move. What was the stronger one from takedown? There was another one that does something similar. All right, 33, how's he gonna go? 36, Mega Horn, is that the one hit KO move? Yeah, um, no, that one's not. There is, there is, um, I'm thinking of Guillotine is the one that's the one hit Well, you have a bug type move, that's pretty cool. We're gonna give that to you instead of Sand Attack. How often do we get a bug type move? with a Pokemon that can actually use it decently. That's cool. Are you... Wow! Nine Abra Candy, really. That's really surprising. 9,000, reply to call out. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get tons of items. What? We have so many rare candies. We could get anything we... Okay, so I'm saving up those rare candies for what I need to try and get every Pokemon, is what it's gonna be. Um, so let's continue. Cool beans. So, we are going to head on and check out Seldon City here. Who's in our party, though? Um, Skybite, Gloom, Agumon, Kadabra, Cubone. That sounds good. That'll be good for now. We'll be switching up later. But let's go check out the game corner because I've heard it's changed. Because, of course, gambling is illegal, kids, and we can't have them doing... Oh, that's how you actually get to the gym. We can't have kids knowing about gambling, so we're going to turn it instead into an arcade. Ah, uh, this song's good, though. Take a little break. Uh, you need to take breaks when playing games. Okay, Nintendo. Wait. Uh, I broke my high score if only every day were like this. Hi, Ryu. Playing Street Fighter. Games are great for improving your reflexes. It, this is a five-button game. It's a game in which Pokemon fly high with balloons. Oh, that's not Street Fighter at all. Really? We're playing that? Where's Pokken? Oh, we found a tough candy. Just randomly. It's a game which Pokemon surf on a surfboard. Hey, that was a game in the original. In game which we meet lead, uh, it's Pikmin. What do we got here? Pokemon fighting game. It's Pikachu fighting in a mask. There you go. It's a game which you match three pictures. So yeah, there's a bunch of games here. Oh, uh, you better think suit champ in the making. Seldon's oh yeah, he's in here because he's addicted to the games. She's one with nature and use her grass type Pokemon. She might look quiet uh, because she does flower arrangements, which is an incredibly Japanese thing that is not something that really gets brought up in Western media, but when you see it as a kid a lot in, in Japanese games, you're like, okay, I guess that's a thing, but she's not one to be taken lightly. I sometimes see suspicious looking people in the game corner, like the guy standing behind the poster? Uh, my sweet star, you likes to watch people playing games. So yes, they totally got rid of the, 
Uh, we run out of game coins. Please don't touch the balls without permission. They totally got rid of all the stuff here that you used to be able to do with uh, getting... Um, what is this in your hand? Oh, right. It's, it's the megaphone. Game which Pokemon fly high in the sky. It's so great, isn't it? If you could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than in the game, though. Hmm, hmm I wonder. Um, yeah, sadly, there is no... Uh, no. Oh, wait. Can you actually... Oh, soda pop. Sure. There's no way to actually play the games anymore because... Uh, it is now illegal in Europe to put gambling in kids' games, even if it's not real gambling, but oh well. Um, so yes, it's kind of sad it's been turned into that, but at the same time, I get it. Um, so this used to be the... that used to be where you get the prizes, so that means you must be able to get all those prizes somewhere else then. Now, is the weird hotel here the one that you could go into and get the, uh, get the phantom computer? Lost the game in the game corner. I guess the people who were so good at the games there must be putting in more effort than I do. Yeah, there's, so there's a hotel that if you go to, um, there's a computer there that's invisible because it just uses Pokemon Center data, data. Grandma, I'm hungry. Okay. All right, let's go to the restaurant. Oh, is it a restaurant now? Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the restaurant. It's the, the other one is the, uh, the hotel. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store. Oh, we gotta go there next. You know what I heard? I assume there are several floors here below the game corner. Really now? Well, look at that Amu rice back there. Yeesh. I played so much the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. <laughs> Definitely not gambling. Look at that curry and rice. Mm -hmm. I'll eat all the curry they can carry. Can we talk to you? Hey, a new face. Welcome. This place is packed with regulars. Yeah, there's actually nothing here to do. There's never been, really. I do like it for world building, but at the same time, it's like there has to be some reason it's here. What are you staring at? Get lost. Either you leave or I'll make you leave. Okay, Mr. Gangster. So this was the hotel. No, it's not. This is a house. Ah, oh, the game where the Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively racking in the cash now. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Why do you have two rocket grunts? Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prize to top scores, we can make even more money. Oh, was that? I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, well, used to do that. Don't touch the posts at the game corners. There's no secret switches behind any of them. Yeah, because that'd be weird to put a Nintendo console behind a wall. <laughs> oh, that joke will never stop being not funny. This is the hotel, if I'm correct. Yes, so uh, it would. this is in the same shape as a Pokemon Center with the desk here. And there used to be in this... Oh, you can't even get there. Well, in this top corner here, where a computer would be, you'd be able to press it and still use a computer that's not actually there. That's a fun little detail that is uh, in all versions of the game, if I'm correct, even yellow. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along. She's the best. What, what do you have to say, sis? Came here on vacation with my brother and the boyfriend, just the three of us. Isn't settled on a beautiful city? Well, why did you have to bring her brother along, too? Yeah, right? Is there anything to actually do here? A uh, Pokemon. Oh, no, there's a hotel for people. And we're full up, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, so it was meant to be like, oh yeah, you thought this was the Pokemon Center because it looks exactly like it? No, silly, this is a, this is a hotel. And then you actually go in there and you're like, no, there is a PC here and it can be used as a, uh, no, that's how you get to the gym. The other way I need to go to, uh, you can use it as a, as a, as a kind of a Pokemon Center. The area around the game corner is different and gets a bit rough there. Yeah, kind of sucks having that in the center of town, right? So let's go actually back up to where that thing is, because one of the things with this place is you need cut to get here. Um, and that's another thing where it's like, in the original games, it'd be like, okay, that's fine, then I can get rid of the Pokemon in my party that is cut. But to get to the gym, you need cut. So it kind of, oh, is this, oh, that just goes down here. Hello. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? Yeah, you reached from up there. Huh. Maybe they changed it a bit. Now you just go down there, I guess? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. It's been a while! Well, before we go to the gym, there's other places we want to go visit here. Hello, lady. What's your story? Homemade Pokemon accessories. Go to the... Ooh! Okay, okay. I want to go up there. That's where I want to use my money. My coughing is the best partner ever. It spews out gas when it gets angry, but it's usually very sweet, I promise. Okay. Um... Is there a Professor Oak aid there? Well, we can't go that way anyways. I thought he was on the other side, but no, he's right there. Aight, aight. Let's continue here. Hey, wow, this place looks a bit different. Hello, welcome to Seldon Department Store. Please check the board in the back of the store directory. This place is different looking. It's not like I need anything here. It's just come to meet up with friends. Oh, old people actually doing stuff is great. 
But it has to go all the way to the fifth floor. Are you sure you don't want to go home already? Will you buy me some Pokemon accessories? Okay, so that's all on the fifth floor. Thank goodness the department store has benches. You'll know exactly what I mean when you get older. <laughs> I'm not at that point yet. Exclusive interview with Seldon Gym Leader. Good things come to those who nap. Challengers come too. Okay, okay. Sounds good. So what do we got here? Service counter, trainer's market, video game shop, ooh, wise men gifts, accessory market, relaxation space, and vending machine. So I wonder if this one will let you use the the um, regular items or if you'll have to get the other stuff or the tea for him. Iron Tail is a steel type move. It'll make short work of fairy, rock, and ice type. I always forget about fairies matchups. A try attack is a move that comes with a bonus. It has a chance of flicking a status condition. It's also cool because I like the idea of try attack being all three elements and they kind of cancel each other out. There's a powerful handy TMs here. What a swanky shop. Okay, what do you got, dude? Welcome. What can I help you with? Uh, you got regular items. Ain't too into that. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, so what do you have? TM shop. Okay, what do we got? Dragon Tail. That's pretty good. U-Turn, I like U-Turn a lot because it definitely helps to get you out of it. And it is bug type. Iron Tail, Waterfall, not at HM. Try attack bulk up Shadow Ball Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam ain't that hot. Um Let me just think here. What are we gonna approach in the future? Um U-turn might be a good one. I'm gonna save up because we need um well, I'm gonna sell some stuff though. But I'm gonna definitely save up just in case we need any um uh, stuff for later. Where's my where's my sellables? Well, I'm gonna get rid of those even though they're not worth much Now nah, I'm gonna hold on to those because you never know when but do I not have any selling items? Am I just blind? How much do bottle caps go for? Yeah, a lot could which makes sense popular with certain collectors. Okay, pearls. There we go. Sell two pearls. I'm gonna keep the big mushrooms. I don't know if the mushrooms get used here. I know in some games they actually use those for trading for stuff. So because it's certain collectors and it doesn't say might fetch a price, then I'm not gonna use it just yet. Look at these gamers. Sweet, this kid says he'll trade me a king's gun for my haunter. Come to me, my no haunter. I absolutely love haunter. I collect them. Huh? Haunter evolved into a different Pokemon was being traded. Well, there's a hint in that. Look at these advertisements. Wow, it's so weird to just see right up Switch advertisements. This is so weird. It's a Nintendo Switch. Oh, there's things for it's a role playing game. Not that you got any time. Oh my God, there's stuff for the the Cubic Pokemon game. Are you serious? That's actually kind of crazy. You can tell which Pokemon you got from other people because their IDs are different. It's a sports game. I bet Dad would like that. Pokemon Sports confirmed. Okay, wait a heckin' second. Are you saying Pokemon's coming to PC? Look, a puzzle game. Seems like the type that would be hard to quit. Poka Poka Tetris? That's weird. Why would they advertise PC games on Nintendo console? Huh. Hmm. I need to use the restroom, but here comes another guest. The new guy's supposed to take over my shift is running late. Here, take this gift. I have to skedaddle. Maybe it'll inspire you to cover for me. We got helping hand. That move is bad. That move ain't, ain't good. I will boost the power of an ally during battle. I mean, I guess because you can make every battle a double battle if you use the two-player mode, but still, I, nah, I don't like it. There are Pokemon that evolve when you use a certain evolution stone on them. Pikachu hates it. Looks like your Pikachu wants to stick with you the way it is. Oh, I mean, that's a nice touch. They don't sell them here, but I've heard these amazing stones called Mega Stones out there somewhere. Hmm, I wonder about that. What else you got here? We get a present from my girlfriend. Hmm, I give her a water stone, but who knows? It might cause her to evolve. That'd be weird. And fan fiction y. Okay, so do you. So you sell all the stones. So an ice stone? What? Oh, right! That was added into, um. Uh. Uh. J Sun and Moon. I was like, what the heck? Then I remember it does totally exist. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get one of each for now. Because those, those are good to have for, for evolutions and stuff. Leaf Stone, uh, we have one already, but we'll take another one because you can always use more. It's a good thing you can just buy them here. In other games, you can only really like get one, and that sucks. Water Stone. And a Thunder Stone. So, and, so I, you cannot use that on Pikachu, right? If I'm correct. Because he says he doesn't want to. So let's just see here. Let's try and use it and see Pikachu be like, no, I don't want this. It says compatible. 
The universe does seem like it. So that's a no. Wait, did it just get, did it go away? No, it didn't. Woo, I was like, wait, what? Uh, that would suck. If it's like, nope, bats it away. It's gone now. Goodbye. All right, where are we off to now? Answer is this floor. There's so many accessories you can give Pokemon to wear, and they're all so cute. I'd rather keep some of them for myself. Yeah, right? I mean, what? Welcome, what are you looking for? Little bows, fancy bows, bandanas. Whoa! Wait, emerald. Ruby, sapphire, and emerald? Like, is that is that what I think? Hmm, I wish you could look at them. Uh, welcome, what are you looking for? Glasses and sunglasses. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot here. A uh, true gentleman makes sure his Pokemon is outfit in the finest fashion. Yep, yep. Oh, look at these! Look at these! Diglett hats! Oh, wait, what? Welcome, what are you looking for? Diglett cap! Yeah, of course! I love it! I love it so much! Whoa, look at these over here. Look at these hats. Welcome, look, what are you looking for? What's special? Oh, wow, the crown's expensive. So what do you got for hats, then? Straw... Oh! <gasps> We could be! Yo ho ho, we took a bite of gum gum! Straw hat, yeah, of course! Monkey D. Rufy! Okay, so we got straw hat. Um, okay, so we could see here. Whoa, look at that! That that one there! That looks like uh, the, the, the one bow. It looks like um, gold and silver. Okay, so I wanna see. So what do we got? Let's go to bandanas. Does the emerald bandana look like what I think it is? I'm just gonna take a look here. Um, so let's just see here. So we're gonna go to, uh, bag. So then it's obvious, like, we're not getting ones of these, so it's not a, it's not a double up. So we're gonna choose an outfit for Lena. So we got the truck. Oh my god, that Diglett cap. That is something else. Um, clothes. Accessories. Oh, accessories are a separate one. Oh, it's, it's, okay, it's not what I kind of thought it was. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go hats. We're going to put on that straw hat. We're going to go to clothes. We'll go to, uh... I mean, I like the little tux, but we'll, we'll, we'll match it here. And as for accessories, nah, I don't like that color combo. But if we do get the blue, it might look kind of good. Let's see here. We're gonna go for well, wait, 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 wait. Glasses, maybe. What are you looking for? Uh, glasses, just regular glasses, just the black frame glasses. Why is brown flame frame more expensive? Brown flame glasses, that'd be cool. Okay, um, can we put glasses on ourselves though? Bag, clothing trunk. I didn't actually look. Uh, what was it under glasses? My glasses. Cute. Uh, switch to trainer. Do we have anything else? Does not seem like it. Nope. We've not actually upgraded ourselves, but that's fine. Alright, let's continue. There's a little bit less here than I expected, but that's fine. So it used to be... Whoa, wait, what? Lena Inver seems curious about the vending machine. Huh? Do you want to buy it a drink? Yeah, lemonade. You gave Lena Inverse the can of lemonade. Pika pika. Pika pika. Lena Inverse seems enamored with the lemonade's smooth taste. What about a Sprite Cranberry? <laughs> Memes. So we're going to buy one of each. We got Soda Pop already because if I remember this little girl here would give you a TM for every one that you give her. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink from the vending machine. Give her a drink? Yes. Give her which drink? The fresh water. Yay, fresh water, thank you, you can have this. Yeah, she gives you three different uh, sort of regular um, damage reducing moves. So you can give her one of each and get three different ones. They're not amazing moves, but you know what, they're good to have. Reflect, so light screen reflect, and I don't remember what the last one is. Is it just protect? I think it might just be. I hate the move protect, it's just, just kind of annoying. Yep, it is protect. Man, remember the uh, the the the, mor the the market dude in Ruby and Sapphire who would come here and he had the best stuff. I don't even remember what it causes for him to appear. My sister's a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so selfish that it drives me nuts. 
Wanting to hike all the way to the top, even a department store. That's the destiny of a true hiker. I mean, I guess. Um, okay. Sounds good. So, I don't think that is where we're going to get our, um, our ability to go into the other city. So, we're going to instead go up and around to try and find the old lady who will hopefully give us some nice warm tea for the throat. I just need a little, little vest for my Pikachu, and then my Pikachu can just become an anime. Just become an anime. So, we need to go up and around it. Whoa! Hi, Brock! What are you doing here? So much trust about Polarath evolved from Polarath when he needs a water stone on it. Okay, hi! Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. I'm on my way back from visiting the Seldon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. The girls in that gym all turned away from me for some reason. The oh, dang. Are they incorporating his lecherousness into the game? Actually, I have some pewter crunchies. I brought them to uh, as a gift to the gym here. Oh, he tried to give him candy, and it didn't work. Oh, you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. Oh, wow, he gives us the tea, then. That's different. Just put some tea in my bag. I don't have enough left to give that thirsty guard now. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Well, that, uh... It's very interesting. That that went like that. Um... Hello, old lady here. Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. So yeah, it used to be, I think, her that gave it to you. That or the person on the roof. And to get to the roof, you used to actually have to go in from the back, if I'm correct. Yeah, right? There's that back entrance there. So I don't know if we'll be able to get up there, if there's maybe another way. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Wait, what? That's a weird thing to say to a ten-year-old. Oh boy, must be nice working on a company where you don't have to wear a suit. Yeah, that's what it was like working at, uh, when I was at Bioware. Working on a game company thing. You did not need suits ever. It was shorts and t-shirts every day. And it was comfy. And of course, we run into Game Freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. You're not Ken Sugimori. Actually, you might be. I'm the game director. I'm very happy you're playing this game. Good luck with filling- This blew my mind as a kid because I didn't get it. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me, don't you think Erica is cute? I like Misty a lot too and Sabrina, I like her too- Okay, bud. They're children. Um, I like all the, the original art on the walls there. Me, I'm a programmer. But that's it? Okay. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back once you earned a title. Okay, so that's going to be uh, the- the beating the game. I love it. The fact that Game Freak is almost always in the games. It's it's such a weird like indie touch, but I really like it. Okay, so yeah, we didn't go up the right way to get the other items, so we're gonna have to go back down and go up around. It's a weird way of getting there because I guess it implies that the only way to get up to the roof is to take the back entrance in. Uh, but you used to up there get an Eevee, but you can't. I don't think you can get Eevee in this version at all. No, I feel like you can. You, you must be able to, right? I don't know. We'll have to see. If we do get an Eevee, the question will be, well, what will we turn it into? And the answer will be, probably whatever, because we'll get the other two later. Because I can transfer them. Not only do I... So I have them in Let's Go, or Go, rather. But I might not transfer them in. I might just transfer I have a bunch of Eevees in, including a shiny Eevee. So we'll get to decide which one we want. Uh, so then, but then we'll, we'll, we'll switch it up and see which one we get. Okay, so we're gonna go back up the back entrance. There's a lot to do in this city, huh? It's rather jam-packed. I wonder if we go this way. We get a rare candy, which is not very rare considering how many we have. And if we truly wanted, we could get as many as we need. So for this upcoming gym, it is grass type. So we'll be definitely using as many of our um, fire, and I don't think we have any ice types yet. Well, except when we have sand true, I think we do. Um, but psychic will also be useful against a lot of them are poison elements as well. So we'll see here. I know everything. Okay, that's pretty narcissistic to put on your door. Hello, this is a different place. Play rough. That is a dark type move, if I'm correct. Or is that the fairy type one? No, I'm thinking foul play. 
As you can see from the notes on my board, there's nothing I don't know. I even know that the whole world can be found inside your Nintendo Switch. Okay, bud! So connect with your friends, enjoy training with each other. It's a good deal text, link trades and battles. Will you read it? Nah, I'm not doing any of that. Um, okay, so play rough. Is that the... Um... Play rough is... It is the fairy type move. None of you can learn it. Okay, okay. Um, so... For our gym here... Let's actually start doing that up here. Um, so party. Skybite's fine. Gloom is fine. Cubone, I kind of want to keep you in the party for experience, though. Regardless, Agumon's gonna be the big show here. The big shot. I guess I could... I guess I could put an Arcanine on my team now. But I kind of want to level it up some more, so... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Questions. Questions indeed. We'll see what happens. I'm not too worried. But after this, we're going to go right to um, uh, the city in the middle there, whose name I always forget. Which, if I had the map, I could look at it. Do I have the map, even? Do I have the town map? I do. The next place we're going to is... I always forget the name of Saffron City. Yes, we'll be going there. We'll be going there after, because we can't actually progress onward until we clear out that place. Which happens a lot earlier in the game than I remember. I remember it happening way, way, way later. But, uh, nope, in this case it happens quite early on. Okay, to the gym, where we will battle Erika and assert our dominance as the number one female trainer in all of Kanto. Now, there is one change that was made to the gym, but it's not something that, that amazing. In fact, it actually is outside of the gym, and it, it changed in, uh, in, um, uh, red and, or fire red leaf green. There's a guy out here who say, wow, this gym is full of beautiful women, this guy. And now he says, this gym's great, it's full of strong trainers. He says, this gym is great, it's full of beautiful women, but now it's gone. My Jigglypuff is animate nature. It's easy uh, to raise this attack, but not so much a special attack. It's double slap is really handy. Yeah. Um. Erica, nature loving princess. Are we gonna? I don't think there's gonna be anything here to block us. Will there be? Because he's not in here. Whoa! This gym is very different, actually. I take it back. Oh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? Let me know. We only let Pokemon with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Let me see. I mean. A Pikachu. It's cute, super cute. Can I pet it just a bit, please? What if I put up like a, a, a Rhydon or Rhyhorn? Oh, oh, it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good too. I love it. That's a bit weird, my dude. Fine then. I guess I have to let you into Cell John Just City, seeing as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. I wonder what the criteria for that. What is the criteria? Oh, they have little flower crowns, these Pokemon that don't exist. So if I trainers Adrian. We'll see. We'll see here if we can beat him. Um, yeah, this gym is quite redesigned. Wow, you can just see her up there? That's kind of cool. That's for the better, because the original gym kind of sucked. Ah, you're the one I saw earlier. I'll show you my cute Pokemon. That makes me excited for hopefully more redesigned gyms, because, yeah. Like, I remember this gym. It was kind of in the shape of a tree a bit, but not really. Oddish. Oh, wow, I really like the environment for the inside of this gym, too. That's really good looking, like it's a great design. Shoutouts to the episodes of the Pokemon anime which used, uh, which, which were Ash trying to fight Erica, and Erica's like, nope, I only fight girls in my gym. And then Ash is like, well, guess I got a cross dress, and thus Ashley was born, who the internet didn't go crazy about, really? I was surprised. I mean, you'd think that'd be a thing that the internet would be like, oh, like nowadays, like there was one single f like scene of, of SSS Gridman, which if you haven't watched, go watch that. Featuring the main character cross dressing. It's like, that's it. Thousands of pieces of fan art. But I guess it's because he kind of didn't do it very well, Ash. He kind of just... Okay, I'm holding the Pokeball upside down right now. He kind of just did a bad job at it, so, oh well. And they did it later again, but better, um, which is always fun. Well, I don't want to hop down there. That's a shortcut. I don't want to go that way. I will say, and I know some people disagree with me, but the Sun and Moon anime is the best one. And I know some people would be, I want to fight you. I know some people disagree because they're like, wow, look at the bad animation, but it's like, it is the best animation? It's honestly some of the best we've had from any weekly show ever. Hi, Mai. My Valentine. Execute. 
Look at them eggs. Oh man, I have a I have a really strong Alolan Exeggutor, which is just I love him so much. So I don't think I'll be transferring him to here because I use him a lot in uh, in Go itself. So it, it was actually when I first when I first jumped back into Go after not playing it since like the summer it came out. Uh, the first thing I found was this like level like 1,000 like a 1,600 CP Alolan Exeggutor, and I was like, "Wow, that's really strong!" Because I had nothing even close to that, and so I was like, "Then that that's what actually got me to be able to start getting gyms and stuff." Because I would never be able to get gyms back in the day. Um, but now that it changed the system, it's just much, much, much better. Anyways, that game is evolving in really good ways. Um, I know some people still look at it as, oh man, gross, Pokemon Go, but it's like, I play it and I'm like, nah, it's, it's still a lot of fun, um, and if you dislike it, that is entirely your own opinion, and that's fine, but at the same time, you can't deny that it hasn't been getting so much better since its release, I mean, especially in terms of, of, I've never had it, like, weren't you peeking in here earlier, nope, um, I've never had a problem with it, like, stability-wise. I mean, of course, when they're, like, those go-fests and stuff, like, yeah, those are messes. But the game itself is fine. But then again, why... Why would you go to another country for a mobile game festival? A, a game festival I could see, but just something about it being a mobile game. I'm just like, nah, I, I can't even imagine that. I almost want to use two... Um, candy, just to level him up to 30, but at the same time, that's cheating, and I'm gonna hold on to them. I wanna have a bit of a challenge. You can cheese this game, but it, it all depends on how you play it. I'm actually surprised at how it's not being this total cakewalk, like some people say. Now, if I wanted to, I could min-max -max my way into being brutally overpowered, but I don't have to, and that's a nice thing. Anyways, the experience you get from battle is also minimal, so that's, that's like, no problem there. Yeah, use up these paralysis heals, and use a potion, because when else are we going to be able to use these? Very nice. Actually, do we have any Charmander candies at all? The answer is... Absolute... Ah, uh, they're not in order. No, but if we wanted to, we could, we could power them up in different ways, so that's fine. One day, I think once I get in some of my shiny Pokemon, I will. You know what? I'm gonna avoid. No, I'm gonna battle. Let's do this. Wait, did I battle you? Nope, look, look, see my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Are they? I don't know about that. I mean, I guess it's because of the fact that water is one of the most common types of Pokemon. I remember I had back in the day a book of, I think it was Pokemon, um... Yeah, it was the gold and silver, like, Pokemon book for all of them, and they had sections that devoted to, here is every Pokemon of this type, and I remember water being just absolutely massive compared to, compared to every other type, and also being like, wow, dragon and ghost, it ain't too good, but that book did have problems, I remember there's one section where it said, uh, Ho had a move that was called normal, and I'm like, what? And I learned later, like, yeah, it was just totally a typo. It was meant to be something else, uh, but they accidentally put in the word normal there. Uh, there's some interesting stuff in there. Some Pokemon evolved in the wrong way, and uh, that's always fun. Weepin' Bell. I hate how some people are like, man, look at this Pokemon's design. Isn't it so rude? And I'm like, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, have you not seen a pitcher plant? Those real plants that exist and look like a weeping bell? I just, I don't know, man. I feel like, I hate people who look for, for inappropriate stuff in kids' stuff all the time. It's just really annoying. The people are like, I can't believe they put in this adult joke into this kid's show. And it's like, I, I just, I feel like some people don't get that they're have putting in a fun, like, it's, it's fine. Oh, that's just me complaining, though. Use that, and we do have an antidote. Hey, you know what? We're using up all these status ailment items that I never use. And you know what? Shout out to the fact that it's pretty clear that this... Wait a sec. Wait a heckin' second. Was I... Oh, cool. The soda pop is a ramen. -ay. I love ramen. -ay. 
Those are the ones with the big ol' um, you, you press the button and boom bam, you get a, uh, you get a marble in there and it's great. Um, this, uh, this game does not have the, um, item limit, which really, really, really negatively affected the first game, where you could only have so many items, so you had to use your, um, you 100% had to use your, your item box in your PC, which doesn't exist here, so hey, we're good. But I remember it was like, I think... I think they got rid of that in, I think, Gen 5. Like, it took them a while to get rid of the item limit. Which is good, because I hated that. Aight, so now we're going to burn you to a crisp. Dig would be good against a pure poison type, but not so much a gr half grass type here. So we might not actually kill, considering you healed a little bit there. But we'll see here. Maybe if we get a crit, or maybe if it's just... Because there is a slight RNG to how much damage you do. It is not a set number, but it is it is slightly, like, a little bit more or less. So, I don't know what determines how much moves do, but sometimes they just end up doing a little bit more or a little bit less. So, we'll have to see. Like, you, you, when it says, like, 40 power, and then it goes in from your power and your attack, and it minuses it to see the difference, and there is all sorts of math there. But even still, there is the slight RNG of it to be like, well, what is, what is the final value? Alright, we're getting stronger. Skybite, good 26. If you get a flying-type move, that'd be good. Dragon Tail is also pretty good. That's the one that can knock opponents out of battle, right? Yeah. So that's a pretty good one. We'll get rid of Tackle there. So you have every type but your actual flying type, because I don't even know how many flying... I guess Twister... No, Twister's a dragon type move. What can it learn for flying? I don't actually know. Maybe Bounce? But I don't think it naturally learns Bounce. I think um, Magikarp naturally learns Bounce, though, which is hilarious. Um... Keep heal not we'll keep healing you. Medicine pocket. Super potion. Boy, we're actually starting to run out, huh? Just a little bit. That's fine. Hello, what do you got? Welcome to Celadon City Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Wow, you must have been closer to the entrance in the original, huh? Because I think all the text was from the girls where they were there. Because why would you say welcome when I'm near the end? Mary send out a weeping bell. Remember in Pokemon Snap, where you had to throw a Weeping Bell into a pool of water and it would evolve into a Victory Bell? Just a cool little thing. Anyways, I played um, Pokemon Snap on my channel a long time ago, a long, long time ago. And I quite possibly infamously totally cried at the end because it was so nostalgic for me. Um, I'm not going to say I'm very proud of it, but at the same time, that was a good fun playthrough. I think I recorded it entirely in one day, in one sit-down. Okay, camera! Yeah, don't just stay on his face. It's a little scary. Um, I recorded it in one single session, and like for me, it was just it was a little heart wrenching at the end. But that was that was fun. Maybe one day I'll play it again. Actually, I did play it again because then for one of my I think it was my 18th birthday stream, I decided to sit down and be like, "Okay, we're playing through." I, I did a speed run of it, which ended up being uh, an hour, which ended up being almost double the actual speed run time. But I did some cool stuff. I'm gonna actually switch Pokemon here to, to keep you from dying. And if it is Tangler, that means there's no, um, it's just pure grass. That means Gloom should be able to use some acid and toxic on it to deal some big boy damage. Again, we're holding off for Moonbeam with Gloom here because that's what we want to get because a, a fairy type beam attack would be quite useful. So we're gonna go with, uh, we're actually gonna start with toxic there. Cause yeah, we want we want to, we want to give the the damage over time. Cause even even if we don't end up doing much damage, that will kill it in three to four turns probably. Cause it does just a little bit for now, but every time it doubles. I think there is a like the poisoned is darker, for for when it's badly poisoned. It's just a small detail that they ended up adding in later. Because before it was just like randomly uh, toxic would do double damage. Heck, it might have been a glitch. I don't even know. Is that going to kill? Probably not. Yeah, no. What if we could Mega Drain to get a little bit more? It's going to Mega Drain me. And I'm going to Mega Drain you. And we'll see if that will actually work for us. How much are we going to get from you? 
enough to actually kill. Very interesting. Did not expect that. Cool. At the toxic there, but you know what? I will take it. There's something about Mary. Okay, so... We're around in the bend. Uh, we could go up to you, or... So I think this one will lead back to the entrance, but we'll see here. You did need a cut in the original gym to cut down some trees, but it was in a very different shape. Will this one go back to the entrance? No, this one's leading up to where I think we have to go, right? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before we actually go in, I'm going to heal up and prepare. Yeah, so here we are. Okay. So I'm going to go, let's go to the bag. We're going to go to the medicine. We're going to heal up. Soup potion, and we'll use a pewter crunchy. Yeah. Um. Now, might as well because we're here. But I want to not power ups, but candy jar. We're gonna use just a couple on you to get you to thirty. We're gonna use one. Let's go to at least like 25 with you, because you're a little you're a little underleveled for who we're supposed to be fighting here. Just a bit, just a bit. And I think we'll get um our Gyarados up to 32. Just a little bit again. And uh, I do have those candies which I could use here if I really wanted, but we'll see here. Please learn a flying type move. Nope. Um, I could use some of these. Hmm. Hmm. That's the question, right? Well, we do have these. We might as well use these on Pikachu while we're here, too. And we do have the Oddish Candy, which can be used to power up the other one. So that'd be good. Man, you're already getting quite strong, huh, Pikachu? Yeah, so we got Oddish Candy next. Might as well use it. All stat up. Is really good. It's surprisingly good. Who's my strongest Pokemon now? I still need to check. Uh, Abracanny. Well, no, might as well use that as well. I think we got a bunch of that from uh, the the walking with him too. Cause yeah, you, you're about 500 there. I'm going to guess my Golem is still my strongest. And we'll see. Because in the end, the attack, like, the actual level doesn't matter as much as the stats. Again, that's something that you learn once you once you get a bit older as a Pokemon player. Um, party, no, we want to go to our Pokemon box, which, again, weird it's in our bag, but sure. So we're going to go Shake, and we're going to sort by CP again. So now it is... Wow. Gloom is my next strongest, huh? That is surprising. That's very surprising. Okay, well... Let's go. Hello there. Lovely weather, isn't it? Wow, that's a great way to start a conversation. It's so pleasant. Oh, and she's fallen asleep. It'd be like that sometimes, I mean. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. Itoshima said. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of Seldon City Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. Never been the biggest fan of Erica as a gym leader. I feel like out of all the Gen 1 gym leaders, she's the weakest design and personality-wise. Now, that said, it also comes down from the fact that we had a friend in school whose name was Erica, spelt the exact same way with uh, two sisters, twins, Danica and Monica, and she absolutely, absolutely hated this gym leader and would always tell us about how she like she thinks it's like unfair that she she has a gym leader named after her and and she's just, she was always on about it so we did take that a little bit as yeah we're, we you know we, we we don't super love it but oh well we're also low on uh we might have to use an elixir here which i never have to use in this game if i felt like but no here we go okay tangela is down Weepin' Bell. You know what? I'm going to switch out to Kadabra for a second. See, because Weepin' Bell is definitely um, poison type. So we're going to try and use the, I think it is at least, we'll try and use Psybeam. And if it's not poison type and I'm wrong, because of course I forget these things, then we will instead use, um, 
Oh, wait, is it poison type or is it just pure grass? Is it Victory Bell who becomes poison? Let's see here. Yeah, no, it's poison type. I was going to say that then we'd switch out to, um... Uh, Gloom. Please hit yourself and kill yourself. Dang, that sucks, man. That was bad. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to definitely send out now Gloom. Who will use just a basic, um... What would be good? Well, Acid would deal neutral damage, so we'll use that. There we go. How ironic being killed by your own type. Does she have a vile plume? She does. Okay. Um. What can you do to it right now? Floaty Fall will deal big damage and we've never used it yet. Alright, Floaty Fall it is. I forgot we got that move. And you can't do too much to me. You can't also use Stun Spar me. No, you can't. Oh, you are scary in HD. You know, um, the, uh, Blossom is kind of the first Alolan form. That's pretty good. I knew it, you could do it. Mega Drain. Yeah, I don't, I don't like its face. I'm gonna be very honest. Oh, yeah, this is the problem is that it deals, it does a lot of damage with its Mega Drain. I thought it had Giga Drain, though. I remember this Vile Plume being a bit of a pain. But thankfully, we have the power of Floaty Fall. We did it. Fainted. Very nice. Good. Cubone Group 26. Very nice. Wants to use Bone Meringue. Yeah, that's a good one. It's better than Bone Club. Uh, but we'll get rid of, um... Probably Rage. Yeah, I don't, I don't see myself using that too much. Even though you're going to be traded away as soon as you evolve into an Alolan one, but... Gym Leader Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. Got the big money for winning. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. We did it. Got a rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge w raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you. Level 50 for Pokemon that you've received from other trainers. And here. If you'd like, please also take this with you. Mega Drain. Very nice. That's a good move. TM53 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yeah. Is that it? Oh my. So you're cataloging the Pokemon you catch? I must say I'm impressed. I would never collect a Pokemon if it were not beautiful. You saying something about my Agumon? You're so happy. Must be in a great move. It gave you a high five. Come on, give me a high five. High five me. High five? High five? High five? High five? High five? Oh, I poked it. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I apologize. That's embarrassing. Alright. So we're gonna hop on down. Cool, cool, cool. So that is that gym rinsed and scrubbed and all that stuff so we can now head to the other city saffron city uh to get there we simply have to go to the guard and be like hey i have this delicious tea and he'd be like mm, i want some of that tea um do we do the game corner now or is that later actually because if we can do the game corner now we might as well Let's see here. I forget. Is Game Corner... What? There's no secret hidden behind this poster or anything. Where's my partner anyway? He's supposed to come trade places, but he's in... Oh, no. So it comes after. Okay, so it goes... Saffron. Lavender. Then... Um... Back here for to finish it off. Okay. Okay, okay. So we'll head on up. Cool beans. Once we get there, we'll be switching off to, uh, say goodbye for next part. Well, you might as well head there. Oh, well, I haven't fought you yet. We'll do that last. A small path between towns. See, Route 7 is nice, isn't it? Okay, are you ready? No, actually, I'm not. I need to go heal, because I haven't done that yet. Might as well, now that we're here. It's free. Hey, hey, it's free healing. Uh, did we? Yeah, we did check here for any trades and there wasn't any. I wonder if in the next town we can, though. And I wonder what it'll be. 
If we have the ability to get a Alolan Raichu, I do have Pikachus I can give the um, Thunderstone to to get a Raichu. So we could definitely do look at that. I also have a bunch of Raichus and Go, so I might even just wait for that. Because it's not like I need another Electric type on my team really right now. We did not just see if there's anyone who wanted Mega Drain. Let's see here. Whom could get it? TM case. Mega Drain. Nobody. Sounds good. Eight. And we are off to battle you, and then that'll be it, and see what you give me. An ensemble call of battle. Sounds good, my dude. What do we got? Al oh, Alpesh. That's a neat name. Farfetch'd, I forget you're a Pokemon from Gen 1, because I associate you more with Gen 2. Where can we even get you? I think you can only get one by trading in Gen 1, if I'm correct, but I could also be wrong. We'll use Dragon Rage on you for that sick base 40 damage to see about how much HP you have. You have about 90 HP. Facade, that's a move that deals more damage if they have a status ailment, but deals really decent damage with you regardless, because it is a normal type move, so it does get stab. Wow, it's actually pretty strong. You might end up killing Angumon here. Um, you know what? Let's use Dragon Rage, Rage again, because that should deal enough damage this time. And then we'll switch out our party. Switch out our dude. Yeah, there we go. Peace, brother. Let's see here. So now we got Wigglytuff. So that is... Um... We, so okay, so it is Fairy-type. Fairy is weak to poison. Yes? Yes, if I'm correct. Because there's not many things that Poison was strong against, so we'll use that instead. I think. Still not the best about the Fairy types. Okay, so yeah, we're going to use Acid. Yep. Good, good, good. And I think that one was put in literally just so that... I know I'm going to use Toxic just so that even if we get put to sleep, we'll die. I think that was put in just, like... Every type matchup has a reason, but that one was just, we need more of that uh, effect. Of, you know, our, our super effective against, um, uh, super effective by poison. Like, steel being super effective against fairy apparently has a reason. It's like, there's something about fairies and using swords against them, and there's some reasons there. But it's also because they needed the matchup to happen. And the fairy type egg group existed in Pokemon way long before, so it's not even that weird to be in, considering there was precedent for a fairy type Pokemon when we were talking about egg groups. And boy, once you start discussing egg groups, you know you're in trouble with a Pokemon per- like, normally when you're talking to people about Pokemon, you can tell their level of knowledge of Pokemon by simply, well, what do they talk about, right? Are they talking about- Lots of Gen 1 stuff. Are they talking about abilities? That's a little bit more. Are they talking about EVs and all that? It's a little bit more. And it's like egg groups. Once you're into egg groups and egg moves, then you're done. That's it. That person is, is a master in training. Or a master. Period. There we go. 34. Don't say anything about that number. You'll be demonetized. Lean in versus screw to 35. Don't say anything about that number or you'll be demonetized because then it refers to the first number. hey -o. Uh, what do we get? Oh, Facade! That is, like, that is a good move. Uh, has the move Facade is a spung move. It's double damage if Pokemon has a status condition. Add that in to, um... Ha I, well, in later games. Give it the, um... Too many pewter crunchies. Oh, yeah. Um, put that with one of those orbs that give him a status condition and, yeah. Looks awfully tasty. What can I have a drink? Gee, thanks. Glug, 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 If you really want to go Saffron, I guess I can let you pass. I'll share this tea with the guards working on the other gates around the city. What a weird thing where it's like, yeah, I'm just going to share this tea with everyone. And all right. We're in Saffron City. Can we get to Mr. Psychic's house? Is this it? Or am I thinking? Or no, this is uh, Duplica's house, right? No, I'm wrong. Anyways, we'll explore the city next time, guys. Where, um, we will be going to one of the gyms and doing some other stuff and then taking back the HQ. So, we will see you next time for some more Pokemon. Let's go find the Pokemon Center so I can end this part, Pikachu. Ciao.